Now then, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. Thank you for checking in. It is currently 3.30 a.m. And I've just jumped in the car ready to set off to the Peak District. And I'm not going to lie, I'm slightly over. Very tired. I forgot to charge all my, all my batteries. And uh, I'm sure I forgot something else. But I am, despite all that, I am, I am excited to go. So yeah, there's some intro, some kind. Probably a driving montage. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But yeah, if it's a driving montage, enjoy footage of me drinking coffee, lots of coffee. Well, I've perked up a little bit after my two coffees and a Red Bull and I'm down at a location now and that location is Padley Gorge. It's this valley with really steep sides to it and a stream running through the middle and it's surrounded by ancient woodland. It's really nice. I can't see a whole lot but the little bits I've seen with a torch I can tell it's going to be nice. Um, yeah, it's a short walk in. I'll leave maps in the description below where you can park and yeah, about 20 minute walk in and subject matter today, it's, it is autumn but there's not too much colour even though there's a few orange leaves on the ground we'll have to see how much there is on the trees and if we get a bit of light poking through or a bit of mist I'll definitely focus on them sort of ancient twisted trees if we don't get the conditions like I said it's cascading waterfalls through the middle so I'll probably pick a few of them apart and see what I can find but yeah there's options there's also loads of mushrooms popping up through the ground everywhere so yeah a lot of options but we'll wait for wait for blue hour so I can see a little bit better and start looking for some compositions. Well, it's way past sunrise now and it's not poking through at all. There's a lot of clouds. So yeah, I'm, I'm sticking to the cascading waterfalls and the route you take, you come up the gorge. So you're looking at your compositions as you're walking up and it changes every minute the further you go up. It's really nice. Um, just be aware, it is really slippery. So if you come down here, wear some decent footwear, unlike me, it was hung over this morning and just put my trainers on. But anyway, before we get involved with any waterfalls, I've found this little fern image that I like. As you can see, simple fern leaf underneath is these nice uh, brown leaves which might give it a little bit of contrast make it pop uh, it's framed at the top by a couple more which are out of focus because i'm at f3.5 get a nice bit of depth of field uh iso 800 because there's a little bit of wind which is giving me a 115 for the second shutter speed uh, everything today will be with a polarizer even if i'm not shooting the waterfalls obviously it adds a little bit of saturation and it'll cut through the water droplets on the leaves because everything is wet so yeah every image will have a polarizer on this is definitely just an image for uh, paul cook at pc3 uh, photography i know he likes the moody edits and this will be a dark instagram moody edit
Well, I found this uh, leaf that must have fallen all by itself and landed perfectly on this rock. And focusing in on that with some nice smooth water around it might look nice. 28 to 70 mil at 70 mil. F10, uh, four second shutter speed, ISO 100. Just the polar, as I'm still not faffing about with ND filters. I think four seconds will be plenty for some nice smooth water. I'm sorry for shaky footage, I can't get two tripods in this little tight area, it's like a little stream and I'm pretty much in it now, but yeah, I've got the camera set up there, I found a little bit of the cascading waterfall I like, and yeah, I'm just, I'm picking little, little parts that I like rather than doing a wide angle. Well, slight change of plan, uh, the mosquitoes have all woken up, all of a sudden just like that, there's hundreds of them, got a few bites, so I've come up away from the water to the wooded area, and there's not as many up here, there is a few about, but not as many, I'm not getting bit anymore, but I'm keeping my coat on even though it's boiling. So yeah, unfortunately no more waterfall cascadey long exposures, which is a shame because when you get up here you can see how much it opens up further down and the cascades get a bit longer. But at least I'm up here away from the mosquitoes and I can try and find some images. I don't really know what of yet because as nice as these twisted trees are, it's just all looking a bit flat, everything's really green, the light's not poking through, no mist or fog, so it's looking a bit flat so I might shoot some mushrooms, there's tons of them about uh, I might fat try and find the little patches of brown and oranges if there is any and I've just noticed here there's a little bit of light going on over there I think yeah it looks a bit lighter so maybe the sun's poking through I'm gonna go have a look Well there was a real nice bit of light poking through in that spot but as soon as you get over there and get amongst it all you start getting bit by hundreds of mozzies. It must be like the main mozzie hangout which is a shame because there's some like lovely gnarly branches um, sort of twisting around covered in moss but you know I'd rather not get the shot than get bit so anyway as I was retreating away from the gang of mozzies uh, I found just a little leaf, a few droplets of water on it gone a different colour, it's gone slightly brown or maybe a dark greenish on top of some other leaves and it's just a simple simple shot. I'm not going right up close so I want a bit of like negative space with it but yeah 28 to 70 on at 70 end polarizer are still on same as all the images uh, f4.5 I've cranked up to ISO 400 because a little bit of wind and that's given me a 1 13th of a second shot speed but yeah let's have a go I spent the last half hour taking pictures of mushrooms and there's absolutely hundreds here. See, so yeah, I might have a couple of nice images, but nothing amazing, so I haven't talked you through them. I'll just throw them up at the end of the vlog, which I'll be ending very soon because, like I said this morning, I'm an idiot and I forgot to charge my batteries last night. And what's worse is I forgot I had a car charger for the camera batteries and I didn't charge them in the car, so yeah, double idiot. It's no great loss though because I think I've had the best from the day. I can't get down the waterfalls because of the mosquitoes. Uh, autumn colours aren't really here too much yet and the light's just not coming through at all. It's fully overcast now. Um, so yeah, I think I've had the best out of the day. I just need to come back in maybe three or four weeks when we're in full autumn mode and the mosquitoes have died off and yeah, I'll probably have a much better day. But I think I've got a few images anyway, maybe three or four that I'll be happy with. So yeah, quite a successful day and um, yeah, I didn't get bit by too many mosquitoes so yeah thanks for checking in thanks for watching the vlog if you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up consider subscribing all that good stuff and i'll catch you on the next one